happy, happy, happy Monday. Yay. All right. So we are now streaming live. So just smile real pretty. <laughs> Mr. Gordon. There you go. That's it. Oh, gosh. Happy Monday, everyone. It's Monday again. Oh, my gosh. And uh, <laughs> Monday has become become our favorite day of the week. Favorite day of the week. Amen. Oh, Miss Monty's already on the line. Hey, Miss Monty, Monty. Oh, my gosh, girl. You're so amazing. I don't know how you do what you do. Welcome to you. I'm going to share this on my page. Um. You don't. I'm on, I'm on it. Okay. All right. So we're <laughs> on. Welcome, everyone. Oh, hey, Lady Jacqueline. Bless you. Oh, my goodness. Bless you, lady. It's good to see you. I pray all is well with you. Miss you. All right. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you can stay on. You're going to love this show. <laughs> Monica, you're hilarious. You will love um, Professor Richard, Professor Gordon. He, I don't know, I don't have a good title for him. I need a really good title. Like great, greatest, great, great grandpa, right? <laughs> You've got some new great, 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 right? Great oh, yes. Yeah. He keep them coming. He keep yeah. them coming. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Hey, Miss Kai. Miss Liana, we just love her to death. Welcome. And all the yes, other we do. children and oh, grandkids. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, you guys, take a moment and share this show. Everybody needs to see this show, I tell you. Um, man, just um, amazing. We're going to get started in just a second. Give people another opportunity to join hopefully you've had a wonderful monday it's the last monday of the month a special shout out happy birthday apostle henry alexander happy day after your birthday Amen. <laughs> that's right yes yes i think he's old enough to drive now what do you think yeah <laughs> i think so i, I don't think, think you have a problem getting yeah, a driver. i don't i think he's okay yeah so um, I'm just sharing this out. If you have time, share this show. I hope you have some wonderful questions. We're starting a series tonight, and uh, it's all about finding your creativity. We're going to be talking about creativity. We have uh, the master of creativity on tonight. Those of you that don't know Mr. Gordon, you're going to be so just thoroughly impressed. I'm sharing the show with a couple more people. And then we can go ahead and get started. Yeah, when I grow up, I'm going to be just like Mr. Gordon. Yeah. And he's stealing my line. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be as good as he is, but I'm going to try to be just like him. Oh, my him. Yeah. goodness. And mm. you guys, he doesn't here. look it, but I'm going to let you tell him how old he is, you know, how young he is. I'll let, I'll let him tell you. But you're going to be shocked. He is, you know, like, you're like, what? So, um, wonderful guest tonight. Thank you guys for sharing and for joining in, <clears throat> and watching the chat a little bit. Thank you so much. And so, um, okay, Miss Sherry Lacey's on with us. Thanks for joining, <clears throat> Sherry. All right. Um, so thank you all for joining us. We're gonna go ahead and get started at 7.33. Um, Pastor Nate, you want to say a greeting to the people? Say hi. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to our show. We're glad to be on this evening. Uh, we have a very special guest on tonight. Uh, we're going to be exploring uh, our create inside create uh, uh, creative abilities. And yes. we figured if we was going to do that, we needed someone very creative, very talented. And so... I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that's who our guest is on tonight. 
Yes. So welcome to the show, everyone. Hey, everyone. Everyone. We're going to share some of his awesome work with you guys. You're going to be amazed. And some of you may not know, but those of you, so those of you that don't, um, this is Pastor Cindela Walter's father. Uh, yes. So we've not yes. had him on the show. We've mentioned him on our show. <laughs> Right, this is but first time on the show, him, and so it's good to have him on the has, show for yes, tonight. Yes, it's, it's good to have him on the show, <clears throat> and he is coming as one, i got to say, probably one of the most creative people, um, and of course, if you know Cindela, you know um, yeah, the, 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 the kind of person she is, you know that somebody amazing had to sew into the, the building of that beautiful woman. And so we have the maker, hallelujah, him and God <laughs> and her mama. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, he is. We got to get it from the horse's mouth tonight. And what you don't know about this amazing man is he's, in a, he's a, just a wonderful, uh, a wonderful husband, um, wonderful father. He's going to tell us all about that. An educator. He is an author. And would you say... Um, uh, I want to say, how would you call it? Because you you have all sorts of artwork. You, I, I noticed as I was looking through the art gallery. So, um, how do we encompass that? You know, I, I feel like artist doesn't really say it. Um, I don't know. I, it is <laughs> uh, do what comes unnaturally. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, so he is right. an amazing talent. And you guys, we're going to be sharing all about, um, uh, we're going to be talking about creativity for the next couple of weeks. And we're going to be sharing um, how and, and why and in what ways. So that being said, um, Pastor Nate. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and open up in prayer. I can open up in prayer. Lord, we just thank you for this evening. Thank you for tonight's show. Thank you for this awesome mm. guest that we have on tonight. And Lord, we ask that you just right now, just touch his body, touch, touch his, his heart, heart and mind, dear mind. God. And Lord, let him know that you are, are right there beside him, dear God. We ask that you continue to lift him up and inspire him, dear <laughs> God, to mm. be even more creative, dear God. So we thank you for his gifts. We thank you for his talents. Yes. We thank you for his wisdom. He's very wise. We mm, thank you we for pray. his wisdom. Thank you for allowing him to share that wisdom with us on tonight. We uh, uh, ask a blessing over our uh, social media audience, dear yes, God. All those God. who are watching, dear God, we ask that you also uh, will allow him to speak to their creative mindset, their creative talents and abilities, dear God, that they can do awesome things with it. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, Pastor Walters is on already, so it's going to be a great show. Thanks for joining us, Pastor Byron. We love you. Well, that's, yeah, Pastor yeah. Sandella and, and. Oh, they're both uh, probably yeah. on, I'm sure. She says, hi, All right. hi Daddy, Byron, hey, Dad, and I are on. They're on, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat. I want to um, show, I'm going to start off, because a lot of people, I get it, do not know this amazing man of God. So I right. want to start off. Yeah, they'll know him right away when they see how creative he is. So. Um, let me shrink this down so you all can see this beautiful website that's called creationsfromrichard.com. This is creationsfromrichard.com. You can see him in a picture of Miss Carol, his beautiful, beautiful wife. And you you notice that there's photography, poetry, and other arts, because we just couldn't get it all into one word. There's not one word. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, do, he do it all. He does it all, do you it guys. All. So, and yeah. uh, we've, it, we've been a, a quite a while stopping the world and saying, we've got to get um, Papa Richard on. Yeah, well, so, we got him on tonight. Um, I'm just going to briefly scroll through this website again. This is creationsfromrichard.com because I want you to know why we're talking to Mr. Gordon tonight. He is a photographer, an artist, a writer of poetry and books. He's written several. 
Here's just a few right here. Here's some books that can be bought, and he's going to talk about those. I want to show this because I need you to see who we're talking to, and then we'll come back and show this some more. But and the good thing about these books is you can buy them. Yeah, you can buy them. <laughs> they are on sale. That's the good I, thing I'll be about making it. my purchase after the show because he's going to tell me where I should start. But this art goes on and on and on. Just beautiful works. I, I think I just spent, you know, an hour once I got the website just looking and it just goes on and on. And so I'm I'm gonna leave that right there. This is um creations from Richard dot com. Oh, that's all we get to see? Well, for right for right now. <laughs> so there's books, there's a tab that's just the books. Um and so he, it explains each of the books, and he's going to do that for us. But I wanted to, to say we're talking about creativity tonight with someone who's really, <laughs> really, creative. really creative. Right. Um, and maybe we should have him, and you can buy the art as well. And I'm just going to scroll down a little bit, some of these beautiful pieces. And there's more, but just so you see. And then I'm going to stop sharing. And now, Mr. Gordon, thank you for being on our show tonight. Why don't you take a minute and just introduce yourself? <laughs> oh, after all that, I don't know if I can. Bye, bye, you guys. I'm <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's also a comedian, you guys. That's why you're on the website. But uh, the, you know, we connected the other night, and I spent the whole conversation just laughing. So go, go uh, ahead, go ahead. Well. First off, uh, I, I'll call out to teachers before I do anything else, because you're a teacher, my wife was a teacher, and, right, and right. I was talking to a teacher yesterday, and uh, they were kind of down about what was happening back to neighbor, next to our neighbor, uh -huh. <clears throat> and he was just kind of disappointed with, with how things are going right now. Right. Mm. And uh, I told I told him uh, I had just been walking. I walk every day, and I, I write down um, what what I call it. I call it gems from walking, mm. right? While right. walking. And yeah. yesterday, when I was walking, I came up with the one. It was about teachers. Uh -huh. and him, I, I don't believe there are many mistakes, <laughs> many accidents. Anyway, I I, I told him that that called teachers uh, don't keep the joy to themselves. Wow. Wow. And, oh, and, okay. And, and, and it, it it touched him. He really smiled and he, 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 he kind of glowed and it made me uh, uh, glow. Right. Right. I can't, I have to introduce my wife. Okay. Yes. Yes. I have yes. to introduce my wife. I can't, I can't do anything without her. Right. <laughs> um, and I'm going to start this by reading a poem that I wrote to her. Okay. It kind of calms me down. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Uh, can you see this? Yes, we, we can. can. Wow. Look so at this. So beautiful. My God. That is Woo! awesome. That is awesome. Well, well, well I know. Look at her too. Don't just look at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, to be perfectly honest, she really did catch my attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold no. up so we can look at you now. Hold but you, up. But you, but, no, but, no, no, no. There, there but, I am. That's but, you, but you are very handsome <laughs> man on that picture. Yes, sir. Very no handsome. No doubt about that. You all are well, this is September 2nd. September 2nd, 1962. 1962. Oh, wow. I, wasn't, I wasn't born yet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and Beautiful picture. Uh, uh, we, uh, we were, uh, Carol left us two years ago. Yes. Uh, but uh, she hasn't left me. She walks with me every day. Right. Anyway, I wrote this poem to her on our 15th wedding anniversary and okay. gave her as a gift on our 15th wedding anniversary. Okay. And it's, it's, it's sort of my, my uh, introduction to 
relationships. Mm. <clears throat> and it's the way of love. Okay. The way of love. <clears throat> the way of love. Sometimes when I feel the love in your eyes, I just want to hold you and squeeze you right into my being. Mm. But I kiss you, love you, and let you be because that's the way of love. Mm. Sometimes, sometimes when I see your laughing smile, I just want to take it, clutch it, and keep the joy of it for sad times. Mm. But I just smile back and let it laugh because that's the way of love. And, and sometimes, sometimes when we've made a beautiful moment, I want to stop time mm. and live that moment endlessly with you. But time moves on to a memory and a new moment because that's the way of love. Thanks, Carol. Wow, that's awesome. All right, fellas, we better run out yeah, and get some flowers. We better do something, fellas. <laughs> no, hey, you know, if you're not a poet, you better become one tonight. Hey. Well, we, we that's way that's, of love. That, boy, that's goodness. that's hard to follow right yeah. there. Well, 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 well. That's I think hard I felt the Lord. <laughs> Yes, sir. Very creative. I mean, that's awesome. Very I mean, beautiful. I mean, I'm a man. I'm a man who loves poetry, and that's yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. We appreciate you sharing that with us. It's yes. so amazing. And as we talked the other night, and just talked about um, having known about you, I I thought I knew about you, and then when I when we talked and I listened again, there's so much in there, and I thought. You know, you gotta you gotta teach us. You're gonna have to come back a couple times and give us some real um, lessons. Right, uh, right. But one of the the focus of this is is finding or connecting to your creativity, and it's obvious um, that you have. So, tell us a little bit about you as a person, and and where where that connection came for you? Where did it start for you? Well, first off, you, you, you mentioned my age. I was born in 1937. Boy. That's before you were even born. Yeah, that was, that was way before my time. <laughs> God is good. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I, I grew up in Watts. Uh, All right. I went to Jordan High School. I don't know if you. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we know, know Jordan. Jordan. Come on we now. Yeah, I graduated from Jordan High School. All right. Um, uh, I uh, it, I graduated from high school in 1956. The year I was born. He All was right. Born. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Was a good year. <laughs> yeah, that was a great year. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. Um, and and yesterday. Uh, we have a family conference, Cindy and, and all the kids, they, 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 they call me and, and we, we have a conference. And I was telling them about the difference between, the racially, the difference between how things are from back when I graduated and how they are now. Mm. There's so much more to do, but there's such a, a, a vast difference in the atmosphere of the country. Mm -hmm. Right. Back when you were born, there were no blacks in Congress. Right, wow. right, right. Maybe one or two black mayors in the whole country. My Lord, my Lord. And 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 and, and while I was in high school, that's when they the, the Kansas Board of Education, you know, desegregation of high school. Wow. Uh uh, you you guys the younger ones of you, you, you hear about Jim Crow, and that's ancient history to you. But to me, yeah. ancient history. Right, gotcha. It's it's part of my life which shaped me. Mm. <clears throat> uh, being black in 19, you know, in, in the 1940s and 50s was a little- My Lord, my Lord. Yeah. And when I grew up, I had 11 brothers and sisters. 
now. I don't know I'm a farmer down south, but here in Los Angeles, the right. wow. Got you, got you. And uh, 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 mom and daddy, they, they were just wonderful. Um, but when I was growing up, when I was a teenager, we used black was not was it was. I'm going to share another poem with you. Yeah. But but black was was, was a um, not something that we cared to be. Got you, my lord. It, it didn't care to be. Um, uh, there was there, there came a time in my life where. I mean, we used to use the word black. Let me read the poem to you. You don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, where's the poem, Cindy? I ought to have you read it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, page 102. Um, but uh, this, this is this is true. It's, it's short. It's called Black Love. Okay. Mm. And um, it's what um, an arc of of how I came to uh, love myself and what I want, what I am. Mm. <clears throat> yes, sir. Black love. Black was a hurting word. Okay until I looked deep into my mother's face. Mm. She was black as her Bible and beautiful as its verse. Mm. Black as polished ebony mm. and beautiful as freedom. Black as Africa and beautiful as heritage. Mm. Wow, that's good. Black Black as me, mm. beautiful as love. All right. Wow. Yeah. Um, um, yes, sir. Um, the, the, the main thing in my life is, is I would be, if I didn't have faith, I'd be a bitter wreck. Got you. Got you. A bitter wreck right now. Um, I always knew, uh, you, you, you know, we, we talk about being at the right place at the right time. This, this, is, this is a precursor to, I think, um, uh, creativity. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, you talk about being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And I learned Somewhere along the line, I learned that uh, <clears throat> you, you'll never be in the right place at the right time if you never go anywhere, <laughs> if you never do anything. Yeah, that's you. That's beautiful. If, <laughs> if, if, if you never prepare. <laughs> if you don't prepare, you, if you don't prepare, you, you can't be at the right place because there are, there are no right places. The, the more you prepare, the more you prepare, the more right places there are for you to be. That's wow. good. That's good. The right places for you to exist. That's yeah. And uh, uh, it, it, it's, uh, I don't know. I, you, 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 you show me the, the winner. You show me the winner that you are by how you climb your dreams, uh, how you, you have a dream and if you just have the dream and it just wilts, you just hold it, it just wilts. You have to nurture it. <laughs> you must, must nurture it. Uh, wow. and, um, um, I, Everybody has their talents. Everybody has their own gift. And you can't covet any somebody else's gift. You have to honor your own gifts. Your own gift. By working your own gifts. 
uh, coveting coveting somebody else's is, is, is like trying to live somebody else's dream. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and if, if, if if you do that, if you if you you you're, you're not gonna be satisfied. First off, you you just I don't know. Wow. Honor oh. your own gifts. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Your your talents, your talents are are precious gifts that you had been given. And you've been given these, the, 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 these gifts is like stones that you've been given to polish. Wow. Yes. Yeah. You know, you just, uh, you, you just don't, uh, one of my, my favorite parables are, are, are the, the parable of the talents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I remember growing up, when I heard when I when I first heard the, the the parable of the talents, my first understanding it was about the word talent. It wasn't money. It was it was, it was the gifts that you have. Uh -huh. I get better. Okay. <laughs> okay. That too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, but talents are a precious gems. You wow. polish. Yeah, I just yeah. That's was, good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Wow. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, along along that line too, if you if you are if you consider yourself one of, one of those gents, what? How do you handle how do you handle life? How do you handle pressure? And the way you do is it will, will determine what your life is 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 the value of your life. Uh, what I mean by that is, well, let me put it this way. Uh, st stones that, uh, st how did I put it? Stones that don't crack under pressure become diamonds. All right. All, all, all you diamonds out there. All right. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> but moving on in, into creativity, you know, you know, Creativity is is, 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 is is just such a such a gift. It really is. And if you add creativity to any human endeavor, uh, that work, that endeavor is elevated. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So is the soul. Right. And so wow. is the soul. So is the soul. Yeah. yeah. Yes, because you said something last night. You talked about the connection between creativity creativity and God. Tell us about that. Oh, um, I, I, I truly, truly believe that next to love, that creativity is, is uh, the greatest gift God has given to us because it makes us most like him. That's, yeah. That is so powerful. Yeah, Didn't yeah. that just like blow yeah. you away? Next to love, creativity. Yeah is the most precious thing God has given us, right. the, the ability to create. Yeah. Because that's when we are <laughs> like him. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to hear that, I mean, it's wow. almost like we're not like him if we don't express our creativity. Wow. Yeah. It's, well, it's yeah. almost like we're, because he made us mm -hmm. in his image, his likeness. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and so being creative it's a part of the the God likeness in us, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah, I hear you, I hear you talking. Yeah, I mean, you you talk with such wisdom, mm. and uh, you know, you be you would have to be a fool to not listen when when wisdom speaks, and so we really appreciate wow you sharing your heart with us and your mind because, and and I'm and I'm sure there's there's tons of that locked up inside yeah. of you <laughs> that's why i already told him i said you know you're too much for one show we can have to have like, <laughs> like a series tonight we're just laying the foundation but i know as you all are listening and i wish papa richard i wish you could see the chat people are going yeah, nuts in yeah. the chat <laughs> because this is this is the stuff you don't hear right you know exactly. learning to love um, like you said, that arc um, that brought you to the place of creativity was was understanding that 
you get to love yourself, that yeah. you are yeah. precious and valuable. And um, the pressures of life that come are designed to bring out the diamond in you. You, yeah. you are a diamond in the making. Our kids don't hear this. Our, our, our culture does not hear this. You are a diamond in the making and the pressure of life is designed to bring that out of you. Yeah. And when you allow that process to work through, like you said, adding creativity to every endeavor. Right. That's how you yeah. elevate yourself. I, I heard all of that. You elevate yourself, you elevate that endeavor, you elevate your soul. That's deep stuff, man. Yeah. That's deep. I, I remember back, I thought I thought back when I visited your home. This is before your your wife you lost your wife. And 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 as we walked through your house, there was just creativity all around all over the place. <laughs> I mean, you had you had each room was full of your your artwork, mm -hmm. you know the things that God had shared with you and you shared with the world, you know. And so with you, it it, it seemed like it it was natural. And I think I'm gonna ask you. So is it natural for all of us? We all have creative talents and abilities. What make what makes it not so much? Uh, what makes you different? What makes you different? Because I saw, I saw in your home, your home is just full of, of things that you had done over the years. And you could tell that some of them was a while back. And then you, you could tell this, that stuff that was probably just recently done. So why can't all of us dig deep down inside and pull out those gifts that God gave us to be creative. Because you said something really powerful there. You know, you said next to love, being creative is the next strongest likeness to just being like God. Yeah. 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 Wow. Well, I think that there, there's a... Um, Self-awareness comes in there. For, for first off, it's, 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 it's not discovering what, uh, it's not discovering what you know you can do. Okay, all right. It, 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 it's discovering the things that, that, that you didn't even think about. Oh my goodness, that's good. It, wow. That's you know, good. It, 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 there's, there's one thing that, that on my walk again, it, it, it said something like, uh, uh, creativity is, is like uh, swimming, swimming freely in your imagination, or something like that. But you don't, you don't have to. You don't. Creativity doesn't mean that that uh, God is going to going to uh, take your hand, open your hand, and put a completed. Got you. <laughs> in there. Okay. In, he, got you. Put, he put that stone in there that you got to polish. <laughs> you got to polish it. Wow. Yes. Uh, wow. Wow. That's good. I think we, I think we, we underestimate the value of the process. I think we underestimate the value of the process. Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. There's this process that's got all this stuff right and right. each each piece is important in its own way but they don't always reveal their fullness their role <laughs> um and so there's this stuff that's going on and if we'll just endure as you said if we will re resist the urge to be cracked and broken the life's process will bring forth that diamond out of us. You know, I was looking on at the comments and a friend of mine, uh, DeAndre Franklin, who's one of the most Cre yeah, he's creative, so creative people I know. <laughs> I mean, he, he has a, he, he's a musician, yeah. uh, a 
singer, you know, writer. a singer, writer, uh, is a designer. Yeah. He create, he designed his own studio yeah. in his garage, and and his his he built this paradise in his mm -hmm. backyard yeah. for front. his wife in front yard, yeah. right, front. where she could just go out and relax, you know. And mm -hmm. and so as I'm hearing you talk, you know, we all have creative <laughs> abilities, and they're all different. Yeah, they're all different, you know. And so, uh, and, he, and he was saying, you know, it's just good to hear these words of wisdom. And it, yeah. and it really is because he's another creative person. And, and so, you know, for someone who's very creative to, to sit and listen to you yeah. talk, you know, uh, I think we all can reach those areas that we never knew existed. Yes. You know, one, 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 one big thing, you know, I, I think why a lot of people do not, tap into their creativity is, is they're, they're afraid of failure. They, they are afraid to, to embark on something because they don't feel like they have the talent for it. They don't feel like they're good enough for it. Right, right. And, right. and, and, and like Anita was saying, you have to, you, you have to work it in order to, 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 to develop it. Yes, yes, you absolutely Medi right. Mediocrity, Medi I love mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> You know why? Because yeah. you got to pass through mediocrity before you get to excellence. Yes. Okay, all right now. So it's a step along the way. Is that yes. what you're saying? Yes. Yes, yes. and and and, and it, 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 no, nobody's gonna going to uh, uh, just start off excellent. Right. Mm. Right. <laughs> I mean, we we can we can stop. Uh, sometimes, I mean. Mama had us take piano lessons, and that wasn't the, wasn't my. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I, I didn't reach mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you're better for trying. I think. Oh yes. I, oh yes. Yes. I think Absolutely. that's something. You know, I I had the blessing of attending a liberal arts college. And they required us to attend a certain number of courses outside of our ma major. Um, and uh, we thought it was insane. We're like, why do I have to take this psychology course? I want to be a teacher. You know, uh -huh. why do I need this economics course? I want to be a teacher. Um, but what it allowed us to do, as you just said, was dip our toe into various pools. Mm -hmm. of understanding and it's right. amazing how much of those various things i still pull into right my teaching it's, right. it's I'm, I'm not not an expert at any of that stuff but the layers and the levels create nuances in who i am mr gordon we're gonna we're gonna uh we have a question from one of our viewers, Bernetta, go ahead and read deandre's oh, okay. question and this is arlene it says what's and the I process to cultivate creativity. Can you lead us sort of through the journey? Um, well, to me, willingness to, to, to risk. Uh, there's, there's, there's a saying that I wrote, and, and, and remember I said love and creativity? Right, right. Um, um, and the quote is about love, but where I say love right now, Put the word creativity in your mind. Okay. Okay. Um, I have to have it here somewhere. No love is wasted mm. because of where it comes from. Mm. Love is its own value, its own purpose, and has its own power. So when, 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 you, when, when you start creating something and, and you don't uh, uh, excel in that, it's not wasted. Right, gotcha. It's not wasted. And, 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 and it, it, it's, it's, it's it, creativity is, is, is a, a treasure hunt. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah that's a good way to put it yeah 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 yeah, yeah that's great that's a great image that's a yeah. great image great yeah. question deandre uh, yeah. so 
Babe, let's take this time while we while he's talking and let's I wanna make sure that we share some of his oh, okay. creative abilities. You know, I I'm mean I'm gonna go to the website. Um, Mr. Gordon is not just the ordinary creative person. This he's very, very much so talented. Just and amazingly we just talented. Show it. We we had a meet a family meeting uh Sunday. And one of my little nieces was uh, beginning to to get really serious about her artwork. And uh, so I, I told her to make sure that she get a chance to watch this. She, I think she's working, but I'm, since it's recorded, I'm a, I want her to make sure that I, she watched this because it's more to uh, being an artist than just picking up a canvas and a pen. You know, and as you had told us tonight and shared with us, so I want to make sure I definitely tap her into this. But go ahead and stroll through, and let's look at a couple of his. So I wanted to read this. Most of you, you'll okay, you'll yeah. go to creationsfromrichard.com. dot com. Right. You'll see this beautiful picture of uh, Richard and Carol. Make sure you look at Richard in that picture too. But <laughs> and um, listen to this uh, statement here. It says the joy of life, the joy of people, and the ultimate joy of celebrating God and His gifts has always been the underlying themes of Richard's creative endeavors. For the past sixty years, he has been writing not as a writer per se, but as a believer, writing of God and friendship, as a husband celebrating his wife, and as a father lifting his children in song. Absolutely. And awesome. now as a grandfather soaring with his grandkids. Yeah. And you gotta add another line, the great yeah. grandkids. Yeah, yeah you, <laughs> you are, your, your writing days are just beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your grandkids oh, yeah. keep coming. And yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, surely there's a children's book in there somewhere, Richard, surely. But hey, I know, yeah. Here, here, here's the quote about grandkids. Okay. Grandkids, grandkids are one of God's ways of recharging your love battery. All right. Oh, oh I love nice. it. I love it. I love nice. it. That's that's like a, a t shirt, you know, a t shirt. <laughs> um so what I know that you've written poetry. Uh there these are books and I'll and I'll enlarge this. And then I'm definitely ready for another poem. And and, and uh let me see, uh <clears throat> your son in law was saying talk about or it might be your daughter saying talk about your illustrations for Martin on the mountaintop oh. and oh, yes. when when you ask mom to do it first. And I see that that's a that's a publisher. But yeah. yeah, Martin on the mountaintop. So uh go ahead, sweetheart, then he can Well I was gonna say here that. are the books and perhaps you wanna tell us about each of each these. One, do you wanna right. take a that moment, Richard, and tell us um about each of your books so here is the first one is orange sherbet and hot chocolate wow that sounds really good Ooh -wee. <laughs> i'm ready two scoops please. <laughs> actually that that was a collect that was my first book of poetry i i had been writing poetry for years i collected it and i there's a poem for each of my kids that I had at the time in the book. Uh, uh, since Cindy asked for that, Cindy asked for that. Be, be, be. Of course. Okay. <laughs> we, we definitely need to hear Cindy's poem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cindy, why, why'd you do that, Cindy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but but anyway, uh, I, I I put I put the book together. It's, it's really funny with that book. I self-published it. And I remember putting, uh, uh, I, I wanted to raise some money to, to, to publish it. And I was working at Juvenile Hall at the time in, okay. in Orange County. Okay. And I put out this flyer saying, I want to publish this book and put a couple of poems in it. And, and I tried to sell the books in advance. And somebody 
I went to the mailbox one day and I had like 10 people that had responded to, to it and said, hey, uh, great idea, Richard, find her. And then there was one person in here that sent me a negative and said, you know, what are you doing asking me for money? I'll go to the bank and get a loan. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, I, it's always and, and, and it, it depressed me. Right. Aww. Got you. And, and, and my wife, she, 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 Carol came up to me and I'm sitting there sort of depressed talking about this. Carol looked at me and she says, Richard, here's 10 people that have sent you money. Thank you. <laughs> and this, this one, <laughs> and you're going to let this be the person that. Wow. Anyway. Thank God for wives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Thank um, God for wives. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But but when I when I got the book, I, I had a book printed with each of the kids' name on it. Okay. Uh, sat them in a semicircle in, in in the living room. Carol was gone to a, a retreat, and I put a book in her sleeping bag. She had not seen it before. Okay. In her sleeping bag. But while she's gone, and I sat in front of the kids and I read each poem to each one of them. Each one. It was such a moment. It really was. Yes, we can only imagine. Right. right. Um, dad, I mean, how blessed are you when your dad writes a poem just for you? Yeah, that's, um, that's amazing. But uh, for those of you that know Cindy, Cindy doesn't want me to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway, Cindy. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> well, well. The, 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 the political correct thing is for her, for me not to want to do it, but uh, <laughs> but she really wants me to do it. Yes. Yeah, you're the dad. Yes, you, get the, you get to make bleeding. those choices. <laughs> uh, yes. it, it is called Super Kid Cindy. Oh, Super <laughs> Kid Cindy. Yeah, and, that fits. That fits. Yeah. And, 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 and this was, I think, in 1970. In 1979 is when I first published it. So she was, she was a kid, <clears throat> <laughs> and, and and this this was her personality. And I I still think it is today. <clears throat> okay, it's Cindy. <clears throat> I love it. I love it that you can cry at a bird's broken wing, mm. or at a heart out of tune with love. I love it that you can feel for the butterfly, the juniper, and me. I love it that you can spend your warmth making me care too. Mm. <laughs> I, I love it that you can still laugh with your dad and make him glad to be with you, to see oh. in her eyes the joy of his life. I love it that you can smile and awaken the world to the beauty of your simple love. Mm. I love you, Cindy. And I want to be more like you. Wow. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. good. That's how he got a wife and all them kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that happened. Lord of mercy. Yeah, well, I, I, I tend to agree with you. <laughs> I, I, I want to share this too. Did, did, okay. Did this, uh, yes, sir. I, I, God put women in my life. Right. I, I mean, there was Carol. And then there was Monica, and then there was Cindy, and then there was Chris, and then there was April. I, I had, he blessed me with two sons. Right. Or he gave me five daughters. Right, right, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Anyway, um, and, and, and I think uh, I, I see it as, as, as an assignment, <laughs> an assignment from God. Mm -hmm. Uh, how can I be a good father to my young daughter? Okay. My young daughters. How can I be a good father to my young daughters? Okay. First off, daughters are very special. Mm -hmm. And 
they have a very special need for a loving father. I don't know who said it first, but I still say it often. It's become somewhat of a mantra for my father and fatherly parenting. Mm. And that is the greatest gift a father can give to his children is to love their mother. Mm. Wow. It's especially true of daughters. They will know what real love looks like. Right. And what it acts like. Mm -hmm. My God. By the by the way, because of Carol and what she was and how she lived, that mantra was the most exciting and enjoyable commitment I have ever embraced. Wow. That is so beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. It just makes you stop and think. Yeah. Yeah. And people are doing so many things that they think are best for their kids. But it mm -hmm. doesn't include that other parent. Mm -hmm. And right. such wisdom, such wisdom. So you guys, you got to go to the website mm -hmm. and order orange sherbet and hot chocolate and um, read all the other poems about the, the kids. So <laughs> precious. So let's so touch precious. on Ma Martin on the mountaintop. Mar Martin oh. and the mountaintop. Let's talk about that. Oh, and the mountaintop. Okay. Well, um, I, the Black Student Union at Elsinore High School, they asked me to, 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 to uh, do a poem for um, Black History Month, or Martin, I think it's Black History Month, I think. Right. Anyway, I, I, I wrote this poem, Martin and the Mountaintop. And I delivered it. <clears throat> and a student came up to me after I had written, after I had performed it. Uh -huh. And he said, Mr. Gordon, you know, you, 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 you should really make that into a book. I said, because as you read it, I, I, I could just see what you were saying. Mm. And I got excited about it. And, and my wife, who has really had a degree in, 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 in uh, art, from UCI, <laughs> I, I got excited. I said, oh, that's a great idea. I said, I got the perfect person to do the illustrations for this book. And I go up to Carol and I said, Carol, the student gave me this great idea to do, do this book. And I said, well, do, well, with these words, I want you to do a picture of this. And with these words, I want you to do a picture of this. And, picture. and Carol said, oh, 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 hold on, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Richard. She said, she said, no. She said, first of all, I, I, I could not, I, I could not uh, uh, honor your enthusiasm. <laughs> Got you. Oh, dear. Got you. And, and, and I, I said, what, what do you mean? She said, no, no, that's something you're going to have to do. I said, Carol, you know I can't draw. <laughs> I said, you know, I can't draw. I understand. I draw. I draw a, a, a man as a string. To, you know, these line things. And for a girl, you just put a triangle there. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> and she said, right. <laughs> she said, she said, no, no, you're gonna have to do it yourself. And uh, talk about creativity. I learned a lot about creativity from 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 her saying no. And no, uh, right. <laughs> You didn't let it crush you <laughs> so that you could have no. the diamond, be the diamond. Yeah, I, and, 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 and I, I look at the illustrations in, 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 in the book. In fact, I, can you see the shirt I have on? We can almost see that. Like, wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the view because I want to be able to see it. Right. So I'm going to stop sharing, stay standing. Oh, wow. Okay. Love lifts. That's what it says. That's beautiful. Turn a little bit to your left so we can see more oh, light on yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at that. The hand of God. That is beautiful. Well, actually, that's my hand. Oh, that's your hand. Oh. And that's my son's hand. Oh, oh. I got you. I got you. And, and, All and, right. And, and that, 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 that's, 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 out of, that's out of out of out of the book. Okay. Wow. And, I look at these illustrations and say, I did this? Wow. I did yeah, anything right. like this? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, 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 and people have, 
have come up to me and said, Bruce, you, you didn't do that. He said, hands are the most difficult thing in the world to draw. <laughs> they, well, they are. You're right. But, but, right. but if, you're, if you're ignorant about that and you don't know it, you just do it. Yeah, you just do it, right. <laughs> it's like, you should have told me that before I started drawing. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, right. That is So we, we saw some books. Let's look at some of the artwork. Oh, okay, I'll because share. Because I, I can't. I heard well, I him, to say I heard him say one. that he he said I can't draw. But... Say a, say a little bit about the other two. Oh yeah character, yeah yeah yeah. Right. Character we were, oh. that conquers per procrastination. <laughs> yeah. How to live a life that completes dreams. I I know I have to buy that book. <laughs> I know I do. Yeah yeah. I've... Let's hear that. Let's hear about that. I actually, character that conquers. Uh, procrastinate. It's it's a book. I think more about self awareness. Self awareness. Yeah, and and I, I. How to live a life that. It's, it's a practical amazing. book. Right. I like it. It, it. I had to do a lot of uh, soul searching for that. One. My right. I what have you? But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very powerful. Okay, and then Born, Born to Wear the Crown, a, the single purpose awesome of Christmas and Easter. This is two the narrative poems. Pur right, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it occurred to me all my life that that that, that uh, Easter and Christmas was was one event, <laughs> you know, uh, and uh, I wrote. I wrote uh, the, the the first poem about Christmas. Uh, uh, about about Christmas and uh, some time ago, and then I wrote the one about Easter maybe five years ago, and I and I said these right. things are the same; they have to be in one book. Right, right. Wow. Okay. Nice. Awesome. 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 So now we could we can go and there's actually a page. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go, go to, to the, the art. art page. Just a second there as we bring that up. There's that cutie pie Carol. Take a look at Richard too. Don't go for the video. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna shrink this down so you can see. I mean, these are. Yeah. amazing and my screen is not going to do this justice on facebook so you all go mm -hmm. to the website yeah this is creationsfromrichard.com and and uh you can see this one this talks about noble road um just powerful imagery here tell us a little bit about these I've always loved photography and, and uh, photography. What I love about photography is is the uh, uh, the camera uh, uh, insists that you look at something deeper than you normally would. <laughs> right, right, <clears throat> wow. Yeah, and uh, uh, the, the, the 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 picture on the right there, the horn. That's that's. Well, I love Photoshop too. <laughs> okay, okay. And that's my grandson, who, 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 uh, my grandson, who's, who's a daddy now, and with, what, four? <laughs> oh, he's got four. Yeah. With four. And uh, uh, I, I, I just had, I just have fun. I just have fun. It's, it's such a joy. It's just. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, you know, beauty. Beauty is really, you know what beauty is? Beauty is, is wonder. Beauty is something that, that makes you say, wow. Yeah. That's all it is. Oh, that's my daughter. That's Monica, my oldest. Um, okay. Monica, praise dancing. Yeah. Okay. Just beautiful, <laughs> just beautiful images. And this art is on his website. Well, those it's, are best photography. That's well, the photography. Yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are on the website. Right. I won't do the you know the whole website. Right. Um, because I'm looking at the time. It's already eight thirty. Yeah, I know. Lord I know. of mercy. Um, 
but you can go and I'm going to say it again. And Monty, put that in the chat again. She's going to type that, the link. You can go and see all of these pieces of uh, these works. Let me say. Well, let's see a couple of the paintings. Uh, okay. A let's couple. Me... That's the photography. But let's see a couple of the uh, paintings. Let me go to the, um, I'm going to go to a second website then. Let okay. me see. And this is fineartamerica.com. And he sent me the link. Maybe I'll include this link when I put this up on YouTube. Yeah, it's after the show a lot weekend. of slashes yeah, and things right, like that. Right. Um, <clears throat> so uh, just I so mean, much, so much. Here we go. Um, no, that stuff that that's, right at, at the bottom row. That's not mine. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, All right. There's well, we can, so we can let them go to, to the website and they can. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Back for a creative person, that, that's a good website to be aware of because you yeah. you just, they will show your work. <clears throat> right. I got you. So gotcha. um, there are just gorgeous things here. Look at this. Uh, that's your city out. right there. Mm -hmm. um, and these uh, pieces are on sale. So you could go to this website and you could purchase um, these photographs. Cameo of salt. I like that. Um, and it's my granddaughter, but Carrie. Um, I like that. So just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And, and I also uh, like how you you keep you keep the family involved in your in it. your work. That's just awesome. I love it. Yeah, that's something so. they can cherish forever. Yeah. I love the the butterflies. Of love course. the butterflies. Of course you do. Um, so those are just some of the things, and um, I like I said, I'm gonna stop because I know our time. Yeah, is, time. We want to hear is, more is, from um, Richard. Yeah, it's it's already eight thirty. So, um, but I warned him. Well, someone asked before you go, babe. How? Uh, someone asked Richard, how long have you practiced the art of photography? Oh. I've always had a camera. When, when I when I my first camera was an Argus V7. <laughs> well, uh, and, and that was back in 1956. Well, right. Oh, wow. What was that? What was that like? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh, it's changed so much. Oh, my good. Yeah. These kids, they don't know what film is. Right, right, right. No. No. What is yeah, that? They don't. They, don't, they yeah. don't teach that no more. No, they have all this modern stuff. They have the microwave photography now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 One yeah. of our um, viewers is asking, what can we say to our students that we see have um, gifts of creativity, you know, maybe even in photography, for example, to encourage them? What would you say? Um, what would be something to encourage them? Um, honesty. Uh, and, and that's a strange a answer to that question. Uh huh. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I I think when you see somebody, well, let me put it this way: I, I think it's wrong for 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 somebody to encourage with with uh, with with something that's not true. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can say, say, hey, you know, my, my, my granddaughter is, is getting into the photography. And uh, what I encourage her is, is, is uh, the spark. Keep the spark alive. Mm. And don't, don't think that you have to have a masterpiece with everything that you... Got you. And, and uh, the... The gift is 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 the valuable thing. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you have seen all a lot of these things, but you have not seen the things that have not been in my mind worthy right. Of, right. Of, of 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 Got just you. working on. <laughs> Got you. I understand. Yeah. And, and, and because everything that that uh, 
you do is not a masterpiece doesn't mean that you shouldn't continue to do. And, and, and uh, the, the main thing in the whole thing is honest encouragement. Hey, you really got something here. Uh, and, and when you get to the place where, what, I don't know, I don't know. It, it depends on the personality and the, of, personality. so many different things, but uh, just make it honest encouragement, not fake. Yes, yes. Got you, got you. And I think the most powerful thing you said is that um, when someone has a, a spark in them for something, that we just sort of kind of nurture the spark and then um, value the spark. I think all too often, and now I'm gonna be an educator, you know, we test the life out of everything. Everything <laughs> requires a test. But sometimes that test isn't the, the most the best way to see the greatest things in a person. Oftentimes, and you and I are both taking tests, right? And we know <laughs> that that test left off the best part of you. Yeah. There, that's, but that spark, the spark is real and it's valuable. And, and nurturing the spark in a child, that gleam in their eye, the <clears> thing <throat> that they get excited about. That's what encourages them. And it doesn't matter what it is. But when you tell them, you know what? Like you just said, you have something here. And I have people that sit in front of me. I, I think I told you I, I help people age 14 to 99. If they want to, they can get a diploma. And I've had kids in their 20s who had been so beaten down by life and testing and all those different things that they didn't even believe they could do anything. And all it took was one wonderful moment of saying, oh my God, you got that. This is, you got it. You got it. You, yeah. you got it. Yes, and yes. I've had big boys, burly boys with tattoos everywhere crying. <laughs> You know, nobody ever said I, I did good. I did good, teacher. You know, they've been waiting since they were four yeah. for somebody to say, I see something great in you. Yeah. And they would just fall over and cry because they knew it was the truth. Yeah. So you have been such an inspiration tonight, Mr. Gordon. I, would, I, I, I love this comment. It says you have to have him oh, oh you have to have, have him, him on, on again, again. so I... much wisdom it said it made me think about the things i used to do well Miss and Tiny... i think that's all of us because i'm sitting yes. there like i'm like i thought i was a halfway little poet until i heard him and i'm like <laughs> wait a minute i mean i fell short somewhere <laughs> you know and uh you know and so and then i've always wanted to to be a photographer you know not for not for uh as a profession but for fun you oh, know yeah. because i can imagine all of the hundreds and thousands of pictures you have taken that you have not even shared with anyone oh yeah you know? and 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 when you started in photography you was doing it the, the old-fashioned way oh so you, you, you not only did you put your skills and talents in it you your hands were in it yes, you know and you yes. you got to see these these beautiful pictures, you know, produced themselves right in front of you. You know, yes. you know. I, re I remember. I think the first camera I had was the little Polaroid, where you snap it and the and the picture comes out, and you have to fan it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our niece had one of those at her wedding reception. You know, we could play around with that. Yeah, yeah. it was hilarious. Just yeah, like it's reconnected just, to it's our. That's funny. And now today, today, you know, the technology has changed so much. Yeah, and so it's just good to be creative because <laughs> even with the new, the new technology, you're still are able but one thing that technology can't do is create like you can so you know that's true and, 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 uh, the yeah. technology is a tool it's, it's just a, a tool, tool but you still have to be creative yes. 
So we really appreciate all of your insight, all your well, wisdom. To look over there, oh, don't tonight. You you, but I want to say I that this is a right series. There. Look, oh, way over there, that green. Oh. This is a series, you guys, on creativity. Because once I heard our good professor, educator, author, and photographer, and other talents share creativity is is a connector to god yeah that's why i'm never gonna forget that yeah. one and, and so yeah. there's one one thing i was thinking on, on the encouragement okay okay and and i i found this 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 other walking gym that i have and right. <clears throat> um live your life live your life like you are preparing it as a gift for someone you really, really love. Wow. Oh my gosh. That wow. is just so powerful. Live your life mm -hmm. as though it were you are preparing a gift for someone you really, really love. Yeah. We're gonna stop you there, Mr. Richard, because yeah. it's already, yeah. we're already yeah. late. And I think you're right. I think you're right, sweetheart. Now, now that I've heard him talk, Mr. Gordon talk. I understand that picture now that he picked up from the floor. With that beautiful <laughs> woman, woman on. <laughs> now you get it. I get it. I, I, I you told know, you. I look at it as just a picture, but now I know how <laughs> that picture became a reality. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I bet you want a lot of ink pens and pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. Sure. we do want you to end with another poem so while yeah. you're thinking about the poem you want to share i want to i want to really make it clear that this is a series that we're doing connecting to your creativity, creativity every right. one of us has a gift we have a talent that god deposited in us and our job throughout our life right. is to polish that thing right. and prepare it as a gift right. to give back to him. And so in this series, and of course, we already told Mr. Gordon he has to come back. I said, oh my God, just listen to him for 10 well, minutes. Well, looking into our comments, he has yeah. to come back. We I don't said, know you know, when, we, but we'll we can't package out. you in one show. So this is just part one. <laughs> but our hope is that as you were listening, and Miss Connie said it very well, she said, oh my God, I'm thinking again. I'm revisiting. Yeah, yeah, the, the things, things I, I used, used to do. do. That's, that's many, good. Many, one of the things that's wrong with us, uh, and I'm on my soapbox for five seconds, our nation has lost its creativity. Mm. Yeah. We are just repeating well, the yeah, things we that don't we've have heard time. Yeah, yeah. because we've forgotten how valuable each and every one of us is. You, yeah, you got to make so, me revisit my creative I, 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 I did. I told him to pull this out because cause my husband has a book too. <laughs> this, is, this is a book of poems yeah. that he wrote, and I, I helped him publish. Amen. The, the beauty and the blessing of having a wife. Well, yeah. Well, yes, exactly. uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, these poems here, they remind me of this, this movie I watched where this, uh, I think it was a, was it the Five Heartbeats or something, where he was, his, he was singing and his, his, he had his little sister singing, and she would dig in the trash and get the next line, line. <laughs> that's why those poems came into existence i had to dig into the dig trash in the and find trash. them because you know uh, uh creativity comes from god yes it comes from god but but he expect us to do something with it you know he don't he want us to use our own mindset our own mm -hmm. thoughts in the process and i'm learning that i just learned that tonight listening to you <laughs> you know, and so we, we can't say, you know, God gave me a talent. No, we got to we got to do something with you it. You have to do something you with it. And it's a beautiful book of poems that is published, <laughs> Deliverance from Crisis to Christ. Yeah. A set of poems Thank that he you. wrote. It, yes. And uh, this is just to remind him that he's creative and he has some well, creativity. I think, I think Mr. Gordon has reminded all of us. Don't we feel you it? You know, and so, and, and you know what? It's it's almost like, there. It's, it's, it's like a, a guilt. Like, 
you could have done more, <laughs> you know? And uh, yes. so thank you for waking thank that you. up in like, us, in all of us, you know, because there's so much more. Looking at all of the things you have done over your life and, and then to see you now and you still just as creative still tonight as you were flow. 20, 30, 40 the years 50, ago. You know, you know, you guys, so, he's 84. He never said that, even though he told you. <laughs> yeah, 84. He is 84. All right, well, praise and God. And listen to this. He says, I walk every day and then I have these, yeah, yeah. these you know, understandings and wisdoms yeah. of walking. God has said, do more. Do yes. More. Yeah. <laughs> so we're on a track. He's going to be back. Right. Next week, we have another wonderful man of God who is an artist. His name is Gary Lett. He is an art teacher, yes. and he's going to share his art with us. And we're hoping, here's our hope, that something here will spark. It'll, it'll spark. <laughs> All you need to start a fire is a spark. How old did you say Mr. Gordon was? He's 84. Well, Cindella Sin said he's 48. Yeah, well, that's that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That she's yeah, still twisting managing, it up. managing that dyslexia. <laughs> he is 48. She's about, she you, about right. He's a 48-year-old. Yeah. She, she's about sure. right, though, yeah. <laughs> and so um, he's going to end with a poem. End the show with another poem. And, uh, that was asked from our viewers, yes, our audience, yes, that he the, ended the, with They did poem. ask for that, um, Papa Richard, so we, we want one. And uh, we're going to uh, say thank you. And like we said, we want you to come back here each week. We want you to connect to your creativity. My prayer is that we're going to have a show where those of you that have felt the spark are going to show us some things by the end of this. Yeah, month. I think that he started it off. I think that Mr. Gordon started it off so well that you know i think at the end of this series i know i know if no one else learned anything Learn. i'm gonna be we're gonna full. get something yes. so i appreciate you sir thank you so much yes yes i'm gonna have thank to you. come visit you again i'm gonna have to take another tour of that museum you yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> okay come on come on and, uh, and buy a book and have a sandwich yeah and, and, absolutely. Uh, and absolutely. just listen so what point would you like to share with us as we get ready to close our, our show tonight? Um, hold on. I read Black Love. But, uh, oh. My mama. Oh, okay. Oh, that's your mom. That's, that, that's my mama. And, and that, that's Black Love, the poem I read. Now, right. Beautiful. This, this is a this is this is called character line. This character line. Uh oh. Get ready, y'all. Get ready. Get ready. <clears throat> Mama, did I see you looking in the mirror, stroking a line no one else could see? <laughs> I'm saddened to know I may have caused you a conniption and an unwanted line or two. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> like, like when. I was gathering goosebumps and tennis balls and fell from the roof. You come a running wild eyed and with a, I could just kill you look on your face. <laughs> but, but you softened and the lines on your bra vanished as you cradled my damaged arm in yours and with a flare of indifference wiped the dust from your eyes that I could have sworn was a tear. But mama, of all the character I've seen on your face, I want to believe I brought about those really deep lines that suddenly appear when you smile. Mm. Yes, sir. But I don't think they're the ones I caused <laughs> because I seem to remember those being there the first time I wow. fell asleep in wow. your Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, I think we're supposed to snap him. I told you I was a ham. <laughs> oh, my God. You're awesome. You're oh awesome. My God. Yeah, how are we going to get him off this show? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't what know. are we going to do? <laughs> well, you know, we. Thank you, guys. We, I really appreciate you, sir. Yes. Uh, I mean, I did the first day I met you. You know, yes. you, I saw something special about you, you know, 
and uh and and not not only that i i just love the way you cared for your wife yes i just love the way you did that you know i learned Such i learned a, a lifetime of of things just watching you do that you know and uh and and the comments that you made about your wife you never saw her illness you never saw any of that when you spoke of her mm -hmm. and i remember that i remember that you know you never even brought it up and so you, you're very special we you're want you special, to know that man. uh thank you for uh taking the time to be with us on this show tonight we really appreciate you my uh, pleasure you know you might open up a can of worms by being on the show yeah you Foco, did Folk yeah. gonna start asking about you now. And we'll, we'll, we'll set a date for you to come back. Um, tonight, I would love if you would close our show with a prayer for yeah, us. Absolutely. We, we and those that we touch, um, we need a new um, awakening. We of need creativity. to be creative. We need, we need an awakening. We've been, yeah, we've been doing this for like a, a couple of years or more. and. And and I you know it's it's it takes a lot of work you know it to think of things to talk about that we don't want to just be on here clowning you know yeah that's why it was so good to have you on tonight yes. because on social media you hear oh. you hear horrendous oh. stuff you hear stuff that that embarrass you yes. and you didn't even say it yeah yes. you know and so it was really good mm -hmm. to hear you speak wisdom on tonight. And, and 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 share your talent you know with us your creativity with us i mean i think that everybody listening to you tonight i think they didn't have a you you've been adopted yeah you've been adopted grandpa you, you're, grand, you're somebody's <laughs> grandfather somebody's grandpa Cinderella, move over yeah. girl we you have to share. move over <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> We're honored, and you've been so generous with yourself. We've really been trying to cut our shows down, but there was just too much. I told you that. Too much. Um, yeah, that was a lot. So and our we, prayer, we, we, we pray for a, a new, a, that you would you would pray for an anointing of, of creativity to flow, an opening of the flow. Um, here's my heart. God is coming back soon, and we need to turn in our our work my goodness so that we can hear him say well done you gotta turn in your work my yes. lord that's and good so it's almost time for that's good that semester to close and the grades to be tallied <laughs> there are so many people in our world who have not even started, started. my goodness lord, it's not their nice. fault they they've been pressed down they've been they've been pushed aside they've been you know mistreated and 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 done wrong but tonight i know that this is the beginning of rekindling the flame and the spark <laughs> yeah of the gift that is in every single person who is on tonight, but also the ones who are going to hear this video yeah. later. Right. I want you to speak to those souls yeah. and yeah. pray a prayer over that spark that we will be re, I don't know, refired, refired to do the, the thing that God has called us to do while there's still time. And do it with the confidence that you have. That, that, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. important. You yeah. know what I mean, the confidence that you well, speak we'll, with. Well, we got him to his book. He get something. Yeah, else. and uh, I was I, I made yeah. I was just reading you uh, before you close out in prayer. I was just reading uh, when I told uh, Cindella she have to move over and share. She said, "Well, that, we're gonna have to fight about that." Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma Cindy wants to fight. <laughs> I understand. All right, sir, you can oh, go ahead God. and, and yes. close us out in prayer. Thank yes, you. Please. Oh, dear Father. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for, for love. Yes. We thank you so much for letting us know that love is nothing 
if it's not a choice. Mm. And we know that you have chosen to love us and put in our heart the ability to choose to love you, dear God. Mm. My Lord. Come into our hearts, dear Lord, and mm. help us to have a spark to share. Yes, God. To show your love in the work that we are inspired to do through you, God. We thank you for this meeting, this this this, this fellowship, the, the, thank you. Thank the, the love and the the, the fun, mm. the joy, the laughter, that we can take it and share it. Yes, Lord. And thank you for letting us know. Yes. Creativity. But I personally know that the only magic I know is creativity. Right. Mm. My Lord. I thank you, dear God. I thank you for the love of the families represented here. And I yes. hold uh, the, the, the desire, mm. the desire to, to spread your love, mm. to spread your beauty. We just thank you so much, dear God, and, and we just, we just thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. We thank you for blessing us. Thank you. And it, it just came upon me, dear God, and thank you for Pastor Marty. Mm. Yes, thank you, Lord. And and the continued blessing that you have on Yes, church. yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And that you continue to touch each one of us, dear God. We just love touch us, Lord. that you have given us love and that love sustains us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, dear God. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Beautiful. Lord, we, we, we pray appreciate for, that. For Grandpa Richard, and we, we thank you for him, that. for his life, for thank you. Oh God, the anointing that rests on him, Lord, and the ability to uh, communicate your love to yes, each of us. And yes, our yes. prayer is that you would strengthen him from strengthen the top Lord. of his head to the soles of his feet. Yes, God. I pray I, that you would extend his life, oh God. Yes, amplify his in voice the name of Jesus. in this entire the time, Lord. There's so many people that still need to hear the jewels that he has unearthed from walking with you. We pray that you would uh, just uh, do that, Lord. Uh, uh, give him more opportunities to share the things that he has learned and to share the love that he has developed and to inspire others to step into that place of love and creativity with you. Bless him. Bless his entire family. There's so many, all the way down to the great, great grands. Yes. We thank you. Bless Pastor Walters and Pastor Cindy. And we thank you now for all those that will hear this. Lord God, yes. that they will receive um, that gift of the spark yes. that uh, uh, Grandpa Richard spoke of. We thank you for that. Now, thank you. bless us all as we go our separate ways. Bring us back next week for the next dose of uh, creativity. We thank you for that and what you will do in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen, and thank you right. so much. Amen. Thank you, sir. Well, thank God bless you. you. Thank you. Thank we you. really appreciate and love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank you. pouring into our lives on tonight. Yes, we appreciate so you. So beautiful. I've I've been changed. Yeah. So, so we gotta we gotta, we gotta release let you, you, let you sign off, sign and, off and share and enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy God the rest bless of you. Your night and, and thank I'll you be so calling much. You later, later, later this week. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right. Beautiful. Right. Thank God you so much. Bless. God bless you. I know. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my beautiful. goodness. <laughs> glory, glory. My goodness. I know you guys all are in awe. You're just in awe. I, I, what else do we say? He is a jewel from head to toe. Right. And we're just honored to be able to have him. I warned him when he, when we talked that he'll be back. So don't worry, he'll be back. <laughs> but my goal is to, to launch you all into a place where you ask God about what what 
what he will breathe in you, that spark. And be back with us next week. We're going to have Gary Letts. He's going to be sharing his art story and his yeah, creativity very with powerful us. Super, super artist, powerful. Sculpture, All right. artist, yes, painter. He's, he's amazing. Yeah. So you don't want to miss next week. And we're looking for those of you that might want to, you know, yeah, talk about share, this creative, right, creative um, right, absolutely. moment. Absolutely. We love you. Thank you, Monty. God we bless love you guys. You. Mom Thank Newman, you, Cindella, Connie, for Cindela letting us borrow that. We, we appreciate it. We have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and we love you guys so much. We will see you next week. God, God bless, bless you.